Welcome. Welcome again to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, where we try to make sense of the numbers we're seeing. And today we're going to take a little look at history. We're going to look at some extremes, try to figure out where we're at in relations to how things used to be. What is normal? What is average? What is high? What is low? Well, today we have 7,880 homes on the market. That's the way it's been pretty much all of October. But what has changed today over the past seven days is really quite remarkable. We have 3,633 new listings that came up with almost that exact same amount, 3,622 go under contract. Everything that came up got gobbled up. The number of homes that came on has dropped by about 400 units over the past seven days. That is kind of one of those things that makes you go, huh? Now, we know that inventory drops as you get closer to Thanksgiving and Christmas, but uh, October 31st, I don't know if this, uh, what has happened? There's a lot of bad news out there, a lot of anxiety. Um, there's a lot of mandates where people are walking off the job. You know, we could start seeing some of the effects of that. People just, I'm not listing my home right now. I'm going to wait till all this noise stops. So people may be sitting on their hands and waiting it out. I don't know. Now, um, a lot of chatter still about Zillow and their effect and their big fire sale and how they're marking down all their homes and drastically reducing them. And this is the beginning of the crash. Look, in September, we were having between 1,800 and 1,900 price reductions per month or price changes. A few of those were price increases, but about 1,800 homes lowering their price. Today, we're at 1699 So if Zillow is going to have an impact, it would show up in those numbers, but they only had 283 listings, so wouldn't show up much. And, maybe, and it is inside those numbers of 1699 So I don't see that being a big impact, but we'll wait and see what happens, and we'll just look at the numbers. The other thing that I've seen is people saying, well, you know, they must have seen data that said that they need to get rid of these homes. Well, what data did they see at the end of July that told them to go on this huge buying spree and overpaying in August and September? Real estate doesn't change that fast. So what changed in September or in October that made them go, uh-oh, because the data moves slowly. As you see on this channel, we look at it. You don't come on the next day and, wow, these numbers are wildly different. It changes slowly. So what data are they seeing? So I'm not buying the data argument. Uh, but if they show us the data and it comes out that they saw some things and I'm all wet, I'll be the first one to tell you. But I want to look at some extremes here. And what I mean by extremes I want to take a look at where we have been and in relationship to where we are today. So if you look here in active listings, I'm going to circle my mouse around here. I'm trying to use my little highlighter pen and it's, it's fighting me today. So I don't know what's up with that. I get my money back. Um, let's see. Is this going to work? No. We have most listings we've ever had is 58,334. The lowest we've ever had when this data came out was 8,342. That's a you know seven day moving average. And we're right there. We're at 7,800 today. We were at 8,100 yesterday. Typical or average is 27,805 homes. On average, that's what normal looks like in this market. Now, sales per month on a seven day moving average, and that's what you see me track down here. We had a high of 10,540 homes on a seven day moving average, a low, a low of 2732. Where are we at today? We're at 3622. Typically, we're sitting around 7,165. So when you hear people say there's a lot of buyers out there, no, there isn't, because we only have 3622, and typical is 7,165. So the problem isn't that there's a lot of buyers out there. Now that number would go up if we had more inventory. So the only reason that number is being suppressed and it's down low is people can't find the home they want. So that number is really not gonna change. In fact, it's probably gonna go down even farther. So if we only have like today, 3,633 come on the market, you're not all of a sudden gonna have 5,000 homes go under contract. We'll just be out of homes in nine days. So that's a problem. So until inventory comes up, that sales number is going to be down at at uh, a low level, a historically low level. So I guess my point is, I'm telling you that sales are below normal. 
Now, that doesn't mean it's slow out there because you still see lines of people waiting to get into a house. And when you're out showing homes, you see those same couples. It's almost as if they're following you around because you're all out looking at five homes in one neighborhood and uh, you're stepping over each other. And uh, I had a client yesterday. She says, I was out looking. I was just walking into an open house and heard two agents talking. And they already said, yeah, we, we've got multiple offers already. She goes, it's the first day. So that's what we're facing out there. Now, these numbers, um, they're not going to radically change over November and December, but I really want to see just how low listings can get over the holidays. My fear is that, you know, if we dip 36% lower in December than we are in October, which we do every year, uh, that's going to be unbelievable. You're going to be sitting there with about 4,800 homes on the market. I hope that's not the case. I really do. I really want these this stuff to end and end soon. We need to have some inventory for people to find the homes they want. There are a lot of building permits out there. The end of 2022, we're going to start seeing those spring up as homes that are ready to, to move into. But we have so many supply chain issues that those are not being slapped up very quick. There's just stuff they can't get. And we have to sort through that. And I think that combined with other bad economic news that we're seeing is why pay, people are not listing their homes right now. But all we can do is look at the numbers and wait and see what happens. And while you're waiting, don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for subscribing. Have a great rest of the day.